Hi friends, uh, this is a course on risk based engineering and today's module is level 2 and level 3 PRA. Though level 2 and level 3 PRA, they are very exhaustive. Uh, so, uh, we can assume for the sake of completeness, I am talking about level 2, level 3 PRA because level 1 PRA, we have discussed threadbare uh, on internal event, external event, low power shutdown, full power event. So, uh, this part, uh, you can say it will be introducing level 2 PRA and level 3 PRA. But, uh, but the idea is uh, to, uh, to discuss the points which help you in uh, conducting um, and then level 2, level 3 PRA is, uh, has got a very close connection with uh, uh, nuclear power plant. Why? Because nuclear power plants have uh, containment. Uh, but uh, if you see um, other industries, uh, they do not have containment. They are set up in an open environment. So there is no question of level 2. Whatever accidents uh, happen, they get communicated with the atmosphere. So, um, so uh, the factor of reduction which happens in nuclear plant, that containment reduces by a factor of say 10, then, uh, then further the accident measures, explosion zone, they reduce the consequences by another factor of 10. So whatever a uh, conventional industry will give X, so it will become 100 times less in nuclear plant. So uh, as such then in uh, given this background, level 2, level 3 PRA, we are discussing for the so, sake of completeness and uh, let us start with. So uh, background, we have, we have seen in uh, PRA, uh, module A, level 1 PRA, but that was up to limited scope. In module uh, B, uh, in this lecture, uh, uh, module B itself, we have discussed some internal event, external event, flood, fire, seismic and all. So, and then low power shutdown. So, we made uh, level 1 PRA full scope, uh, okay, in a broader sense. And then uh, level 2 uh, and level 3 PRA have been, uh, so uh, if we see the popularity, uh, level 1 PRA have been done for most of the uh, uh, nuclear plants world over, they are 430 plus, but level 2, level 3 PRA, the work has been uh, done for some plants, for other plants have to be done, that is level 2. And level 3 is uh, really a um, lot of plants, they are changing and they have to do it actually. So level 1, yes, full, level 2, uh, work, a uh, lot of plants have done level 2 and some plants they have done level 3. This is the way expression I would like to put here based on the uh, literature that is available in the open domain. Okay. Uh, now there is a growing interest in getting approval for level 2 PRA because already advanced activities are going on for having level 2 also on the board. So uh, and, and few organizations are still active in level 3 and all that. So as far as the plant safety is concerned, a full scope level 1 PRA provides maximum insight into the plant design, operation and regulation. And uh, uh, I would say personally, they provide maximum benefit. Uh, okay, for the sake of completeness, we can discuss level two, level, uh, level three, because in level two, uh, level two PRA is uh, a very valuable tool for um, uh, accident management uh, and preparedness of the plant. So, uh, and then how it happens in the public domain that level three tells us. So, level two, le level three also, uh, as we are approaching severe accident management program and all, they become more and more relevant. So. In a nutshell, we will say level 1, level 2, level 3 PRA should be done by uh, putting in commensurate resources uh, and kind of benefit that we draw. So let us go, uh, get on to the level 2 PRA. Uh, the objective of level 2 PRA, we will discuss here the background I have sent already. What is the level 1 PRA forms input to the level 2 PRA. Level 2 PRA uh, uh, input form, forms to level 3 PRA and of course at every stage or every level uh, there is additional input rather than the uh, PRA module itself. And then finally for le uh, in level 2 PRA uh, from the core damage frequency sequence events we estimate the uh, plant damage states and from that we see what is the containment scenario. So containment modeling. So level 2 is uh, if uh, somebody ask in one word it is a containment analysis and there also containment source term analysis uh, induced by various uh, uh, type of accidents. 
accident progression analysis, result, insight and finally documentation. Uh, so, uh, major objective of level 2 PRA, we, we only, because we get the release frequency, the, the, the quantit quantitative estimate of uh, release frequency from the containment. That means, uh, now this becomes the potential input, input for um, uh, for various scenario evaluation in public domain. So, that means it has become an important input for uh, level 3 PRA also. Then, so, uh, now uh, the containment e evaluation, uh, the, the objective is uh, what are the different source terms that are formed, how the emergency uh, safety features, they respond, their behavior study is one of the, uh, so first output will be large early release frequency. That means, uh, in a short time of less than two hours, what are what are the um, what are the consequences in the public domain? And then uh, the best part of level two PRA is uh, it provides into because uh, level two PRA uh, 70 80 percent work deals with the thermal hydraulic modeling, structural modeling, and then the uh, the behavior of the radioactive product inside the containment. So, here uh, we get various release frequency and identification of systems and components that require improvement. This is very uh, valuable insight. Um, and then uh, finally for our emergency preparedness program. So, uh, what are the pro procedural steps? So, one is interfacing activities uh, between level 1 and level 2. Um, um, these activities they take time because we have to interpret the information which is useful in level 2 PRA uh, and what it means is uh, understanding all the accident sequences, categorizing them based on their consequences, uh, their, uh, their uh, structural uh, uh, component, their thermal hydraulic component, how they form the source term, so plant de damage, damage states. And then containment performance modeling. Containment has got many systems. One is the containment itself, its structural integrity. Then its isolation capability. Then its a, uh, um, how the source terms they are uh, they are behaving actually. And estimation of likelihood of various source term and large early release frequency. And at the end of the day, like level one PSAs, sensitivity and uncertainty analysis, and most important, preparation of input for level three PRA. So, these are the objectives. Now, uh, plant damage state. How we form the plant damage states? Uh, measure, so there are some criteria worked out uh, because uh, that is an input for level 2 PRA. So, initiating event of similar type, they are grouped into one uh, because the damage level will be at varying level, but the similar way, way and they will require uh, in containment also some for response, some certain systems. And the second thing is enthalpy and pressure. Uh, some events will be leading la uh, large loca. Uh, it will, enthalpy will be different compared to the uh, uh, small loca. Uh, so, and in different areas, they, they will have different co consequences. Then accident scenario, whether it is initiated at full power or at the shutdown state. These two will be uh, major categories. Status of safety system because their response will determine the consequences. So, that also in power operation state and shutdown state. Safety state of emergency power or these are support system and emergency core cooling system is a, um, is a, is a emergency safety feature uh, in the plant. So, their availability, their availability before uh, the ex uh, before the initiating event and during uh, accident management program, what will be their availability? Because that again cooling uh, uh, cooling uh, option, they will again dictate the source term also. So, ECCS, if it comes and operates all through, uh, it is a, there will be one source term, uh, which will be like very less, then it is failing in between, then it will be a different uh, thing. So, all this combination of scenario, uh, have to be analyzed and then uh, potential for release. Certain things are we having, we know that like larger release will happen as, as soon as the events have taken place. Gen generally, the experience of level 2 is that spectrum of accident sequences more than 10,000 or so. Uh, that is uh, accident sequences and the plant damage states, they reduce 
uh, by uh, combining uh, various succession sequences to 10 to 15 or uh, more, little more actually. The PDS form the starting point for level 2 PRM. Um, accident progression analysis. So, the first element in accident progression analysis is uh, plant damage states. Uh, and we have a list of 10 to 15, 20, whatever, 25. Uh, for each uh, accident sequence, the draft ev event trees are drawn and uh, their characterization will occur um, on event tree itself, time elapsed since initiation of the accident. Okay? Uh, these are the factors they will, they will determine how the event tree progr event progression uh, should uh, will take place or postulated to be take place. B, estimation of postulated elevation, uh, elevation of discharge. What will be the elevation of discharge given the source, uh, given the condition of the uh, emergency uh, uh, discharge system in the containment and energy component of release and release rates. What will be the release rates actually, you know, per unit of time. And then, uh, yeah, so, and the containment end states could be, uh, these are some key terms which help us understanding the level 2 procedure. So, end states are nothing but uh, early uh, release, then uh, late release and long term release. And they are given like uh, early release uh, with less than 2 hours, um, the in between that is uh, late release 2 to 10 and long term releases. Uh, 10 hours and plus. So, these are the things uh, for release categories are the accident sequence they are categorized as. Uh, containment eventry function uh, header will event will be like we have in PRA1, uh, the ACCS, class 4 power and all. Here also some overlapping things are the containment isolation. The moment the event is detected, containment should isolate. Containment integrity, containment is a huge structure maybe uh, in in uh, tens of uh, meters um, height uh, ten, uh, or, uh, and you know uh, length breadth and all that so uh, that that has to be understood emergency exhaust system uh, there is a for excellent condition there is a system has been provided where the air will be filtered and sent out so that the there are consequences in the public domains are less then containment hydrogen level control and all and engineering safety features, whatever we have like ECCS, their availability, non availability, as I mentioned, uh, that will determine containment, discharge, quantity, rate, elevation, stake, and all. Um, what are the decision criteria? Decision like uh, the inventory we have in uh, level 1 PSA, yes or no. In level 2 PSA, there can be 4 or 5 uh, decision levels. Uh, it, it could be uh, due to uh, various level of potential discharge that are taking place and that, that's how they form the end state of the content containment. Um, so, uh, it will not be binary like uh, fail or uh, success or failure. So, here they have a different uh, this thing. We can do a literature search on this and uh, find out what are the decision criteria, uh, early release, less release. Uh, CET end states are uh, sequence that form input for the source terminal uh, evaluation. So, all these uh, so, uh, uh, say states, uh, they form input for level 3 and that is uh, source term uh, evaluation and evaluation of uh, consequences in the public domain. So, a simplified containment inventory has been shown. So, let us say we have a plant damage state, challenges to containment integrity. So, again yes or no, it could be, uh, it could be various level. Uh, not total, so more and more events will develop. Then containment bypass route, but here for the simplicity I have taken binary only uh, because otherwise the event tree will become very complex. Containment uh, bypass routes, uh, yes. So if there is a success, there is no, uh, uh, there is integrity is maintained, bypass routes are not there, uh, containment leakage more, more, less than the less than this success. So it is a, as intended design intention uh, meeting, so leakage within design basis and it will not be uh, affecting in the public domain. And now, uh, like we have done all the one propagation for all success events, so we will have a spectrum of conditions uh, based on, uh, let us say for example, containment integrity there is a challenge, that means containment is not effective. So, inventory will get released directly to the outside, whatever inventory was shown in the plant damage state. 
similarly if uh, if uh, containment bypass route is available is also going to have the similar effect in the public domain and then uh, suppose if emergency exhaust system is uh, effective then containment stack and ground release will be uh, less uh, but it, it will be there but it will be less uh, then but here it is only ground release only so this is how it is there actually so what you will find here is uh, that based on the status of i would say safety measures the release term will be there and unlike uh, level 1 pra in level 2 pra uh, here the consequence term also will be indicated so the uh, whole objective of uh, level 2 pra is uh, is the consequences uh, and associated uh, frequency uh, should be given so like here ground level release and at what height where like suppose if emergency exhaust system is effective then the the release will uh, uh, most of the release will occur at the uh, uh, on top that is a 100 meter or to 150 meter high stack so the area around the plant will not get affected but suppose if this system is not effective then the leakages from the containment they will lead to uh, consequences around the plant itself so uh, then these are the different various category and as you know level 3 PRA is uh, uh, dealing with uh, uh, consequences in the public domain but that doesn't mean <coughs> that uh, public domain starts at let's say 1.6 kilometer away in uh, uh, radius you know so uh, um, it is done and be before that 1.6 kilometer it is called the site area so uh, level 3 PRA deals with the consequences at the site at the same time in the plant at the site and in the public domain also. So this uh, information will be very useful for assessing the uh, uh, hazard or uh, radiation consequences in uh, various areas. Now uh, source term characterization in level 3 PSA. Source term characterization is a very important component of level 2 PSA. The way it was hazard characterization in seismic PSA, the, here it is source term characterization in level 3 PSA form the core. The magnitude of release, so how much amount is getting release or fraction of or percentage it is going uh, of the total inventory is going the timing of the release, frequency of release and then elevation at what level it is getting really uh, uh, and composition of uh, product which is there in, uh, like noble gases and all that and volatiles and particulates <coughs> uh, physical and chemical form of the um, uh, release energy release and thermal component of the release these three uh, this all these terms they characterize a source term and uh, if you have to define uh, what is source term uh, the IAEA definition uh, it says the amount and isotope composition of radioactive material released from facility. The amount and isotopic competition of radioactive material release. What are the different isotopes? Because they are they will determine the uh, response uh, in the public domain. So some is used in modeling uh, release of radio neutralized to the environment in particular in the context of accidents as nuclear installation or release. So this we are doing as a because our reference uh, plant is a nuclear plant not a specific plant a general and IAEA definition goes the way we have understood uh, in the uh, year. Uh, now major results of level 2 PRAR likelihood of the uh, containment release accident sequences you know our uh, release categories then uh, consequences the source term analysis provide the input on rate of release uh, risk uh, the two term enable characterization of risk statement in likelihood or given source one of the major result is statement of large early release frequency uh, within two hours what consequences are there because you know in 90 percent of the time the planned measures they bring down the consequences well in time. So initial two hours <coughs> are very important, they, they are called, that's why the consequences of level 2 PRA, large early release frequency, uh, major attention goes on what happens uh, in the two, uh, uh, initial two hours. Spectrum of release and associated frequency uh, from one major input for level 3 PSA. So uh, uh, major results are that it gives input into the level 3 PRA as we discussed earlier also. Um, 
level 2 PRA documentation uh, requirement the way it is there for level 1 for level 2 also documentation complete analysis a report has to be uh, generated and the format of these reports have been given by uh, many national and international um, organizations and uh, IAEA SSG 4 is one of the uh, one of the document uh, wherein it gives uh, it, it should be IAEA SSG 8 actually because 4 is for um, 4 is for level 1 PSA, 8 is for level 2 PSA and uh, 12 is for level 3 PSA. So like that. So uh, we, if, or it is the equivalent document which has been issued uh, in recent times. Uh, so we know how the documentation of the uh, report and all exercises have to be done. And then uh, it should also get a complete clear linkage from level 1 to level 2 to level 3. Um, the clear linkages should be defined in terms of what uh, result, in terms of insights, in terms of uh, whatever modification has have been done during that period, so that um, the results are uh, for as built as operated plant. Uh, the results of analysis and its interpretation uh, should be elaborated such that available insight because uh, estimating the quanti uh, quantitative uh, likelihood consequences, uh, they are one part. But translating into uh, the uh, words uh, and uh, doing the sensitivity analysis uh, showing the impact of alternate scenarios, uh, this is one major exercise where uncertainty and sensitivity analysis they take the, uh, uh, they, uh, they, uh, take the role uh, for giving more meaning to the results which are being conveyed uh, for level 1, level 2 or level 3 period. <coughs> Every PRA documentation provides a recommendation because a lot of resources have been invested, resources have been invested into uh, performing the PRA. So how it should be uh, commensurate and how this uh, uh, thing should be used actually. So uh, yeah, level two PRA is directly useful for severe accident management exercise or maybe a lot of input goes from severe accident management and it again feeds back to the severe accident management plan or emergency preparedness. So this is all about level 2 PRA and now let us understand level 3 probabilistic risk assessment and it will be again to be, uh, to be uh, more realistic I will say on introduction side for the sake of completeness. So let us see what is the input for level uh, 3 PRA is uh, from uh, level 2 PRA major steps in level 3 PR we are given, atmospheric dispersion and propagation model, consequences in public domain and level 3 results and insight. Now that means objective of level 3 PRA is estimating the consequences in public domain and the, here it is a major uh, element or major procedural element of level 3 PRA. Now we have come out of the uh, plant boundary, we are in public and this, so level 2 PRA here as we have been discussing, uh, level 2 PRA we have uh, giving input to the plant system and we have dispersion model, we will discuss whether we re will require weather data, meteorological data, uh, so depression, uh, that plume uh, effect and all those things we will estimate and then population data and agricultural distribution that will, uh, that will be a one step um, before uh, how the effect can be there, health effect can be there in public domain and of course the countermeasure will, will dictate the real effect. So population and agriculture distribution, intake uh, and external exposure that will and uh, finally health effect and the secondary part is economic effect and impact on social consciousness. So these are the other part of the level 3 PRA. This is a very uh, I would say uh, impressive uh, 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 explanation or uh, on total level 3 PRA actually. So we are trying to estimate the atmospheric uh, dis dispersion here. This is the stake height of a nuclear plant H and uh, then uh, uh, the plume uh, capital H gives the plume height. That means the stake height and some addition and how it goes into the uh, atmosphere, atmospheric dispersion. And for this we have a polar grid. That means complete mapping of this discharge uh, in the public domain is, uh, is evaluated through polar grid and polar grid means here. So that means if some discharge is taking place, the red is the highest density, then blue lowest, low, low and uh, lowest of this one. So the, the intensity starts coming down uh, here and the model is Gaussian model. It is giving how the discharge will uh, take place. And we have a polar we're going to x coordinate, y coordinate, 
and uh, we have uh, y coordinate and z coordinate actually. So, three coordinates, sorry, z coordinate is over here. So, that is how we have, uh, we have got this concentration assessment uh, and its distribution. Dispersion means what is the distribution uh, in air uh, of this uh, uh, active particles uh, and uh, how far it is reaching, how dilution, how dilution is taking place uh, as we go away from this thing and um, then how again it will approach the uh, public domain and health effect and all that as we discussed in the uh, previous slide. <coughs> Exposure pathways are what? Atmospheric dispersion, yes, just now we discussed and that is based on uh, release to atmosphere. So, source term will detect dispersion and there some deposition will be there on the uh, uh, grass or on some heights or some uh, body and then we have cloud shine effect, something gets reflected back. Uh, inhalation that means uh, whatever we inhale, external contamination on our uh, external body, this thing and ground release, resuspension and ingestion, what we take inside over this. Inhalation and ingestion, these two modes which produce internal effect and how a human gets the total dose. So, it is a very elegant uh, framework for assessing the uh, exposure in public domain. And uh, finally, uh, in level 3 PRA, uh, we saw the, the curve of curve and then this is you know, uh, it defines actually our safety goals. So, any uh, consequences or fatalities happening yeah, uh, like you know, it is given on the, so this is called consequence uh, line axis and this is called frequency estimate and we know that risk is nothing but uh, frequency into consequences. So, this curve has been drawn and uh, here um, yeah, this is an acceptable area and this is unacceptable area. You should not cross this line. It is acceptable area means as a part of safety it should bring it down because we have our own conservative estimates. But um, uh, health effect or mass or level health effect will, will happen when we go into the accept, unacceptable region. And this is the final output of our final goal of uh, level 3 uh, PRA. Um, overview of what we have level 2, level 3 PRA because in this lecture we have discussed level 2 also, level 3 also. So, background of level 1 is input to level 2 PRA. Uh, we have discussed procedure uh, for level 2 PRA, uh, containment, inventory modeling we have seen, source term analysis we have seen, results and and in level 3 PRA we have discussed the methodology for level 3 uh, PRA. Then we have discussed demography, environmental, agricultural data, how they play a role, atmospheric dispersion and modeling has been done, exposure pathway, health effect and economic environmental consequences and then uh, countermeasures, uh, role of countermeasures and then results and insight. So, this is what is all about and uh, if I have to give you overview of limited scope level 1 PRA plus that means this week. What we were discussing during this week is scope PRA 1 plus that is limited. We have gone ahead of level uh, limited scope and we have made full scope. So, this part that make level 1 PRA full scope up to here that is low power shutdown, internal fire, internal flood in a seismic event. And then um, in last lecture we have taken level, uh, in this lecture we have taken level 2 and 3 and week B which I term as PRA B because it discuss about uh, uh, full scope uh, PRA plus uh, the level uh, 2, level 3 also concludes. Thank you.